little bit about the discoloration that you may be experiencing in your hair and that the any discoloration that you're experiencing uh, is a sign that your hair is not as healthy as it can be and something else is going wrong. That can affect the overall thickness of the hair over time. You could lose hair. Uh, the discoloration is a sign that um, high detergent shampoos are present, also that your styling products may not be able to be being rinsed out. A whole host of problems. So if you're looking at your hair right now and it looks as though you've got several different tones and colors going on, that is not the natural state of your hair. That is a condition of your hair as a result of your product, your system, the way you take care of your hair. But first of all, I want to talk a little bit about this discoloration. The discoloration is something that, again, you can identify that there's a potential hair care problem. I wrote in this blog post, and you can see in front of you, the common hair care problem among men and women is discoloration. Natural color or color treated, the condition is preventable. So whether you have natural color with no color on it or you get your hair colored, a discoloration, a muddy tone, a brassy tone, an orange tone is a result of something that's going on in your product routine or your styling product routine that's causing it. A discoloration is loss of natural pigment. If you have brown hair, you may be experiencing a gold or a yellow overtone. Blondes tend to get a chalky kind of overtone, and redheads get a very unflattering tone of orange. This common problem happens for a couple of reasons. First of which is caused by a high detergent shampoo. Again, for, for the rest of the time you ever hear me talk about healthy hair, everything starts with shampoo. So the shampoo you may be using is probably high detergent. Our detergent levels are very low. Um, um, these products also, in addition to that, styling products, not all of them are water-soluble. They don't all wash out. In other words, you use a hairspray, it gives you exactly what you want, but when you go to shampoo your hair the next day, the hairspray does not break down. So you get a film or a residue that we've talked about in our last video. A film or a residue, now this film or residue is actually causing the natural pigment of the hair to become lifted. It lifts it out, causing these, this discoloration. Uh, it's quite simple to prevent it using a quality product following our healthy hair in five day system will do that. Um, the natural color will come back because the natural color is contained in the oils. The oils now can become uh, part of the toning process for the hair naturally and then if you go ahead and highlight or color your hair you will get a predictable result. The, the key here is predictability. One of the reasons why over my 25 career your career in the salon business that I felt that I was successful is because I figured out pretty early on I didn't like working on unhealthy hair. It tangled. It took forever to dry. It wouldn't color properly. It was even hard to cut and forget about trying to blow dry it or style it. So everything about what we do here at the Academy is healthy hair first. Now, uh, uh, there are times when slightly damaging the hair to get a desired effect that requires lots of texture, we will do that, but it's not in a way of the permanently com uh, compromising the overall integrity of the hair. Also brushing the hair, the discoloration issues once the product's changed, the routine is updated, and you are taking care of your hair properly, brushing your hair consistently is one of the best things that you can do for it. It improves the color, it improves the tensile strength, it will help you control unwanted growth problems, cowlicks, and the way things move. Uh, your hair may be misbehaving. You can change it by brushing. Um, when you decide you're going to color your hair, and I'll talk about this moving forward because we do talk about hair coloring and some techniques and tips, I highly recommend that you don't even attempt to have your color done the next time until you follow the Healthy Hair in 5 Day system. Make sure your hair is as healthy as it can be so you don't get the discoloration and that when you make the commitment to have your hair colored, you'll get the results that you want. Thank you.